Today, in this video I'm going to talk about Canada Immigration New Update. I'm going to talk about Prince Edward Island seeing more success with immigrant retention official. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. Prince Edward Island is fighting back against the perception that immigrants do not stay in the Atlantic Canadian province A Statistics Canada report indicates Prince Edward Island had the lowest level of immigrant retention in the country in 2019. That means that of all the provinces with immigrants who arrived in 2014, Prince Edward Island had managed to retain the smallest percentage of them five years later, with only 28.1% of them choosing to remain in the province. Ontario, British Columbia, Alberta boast top immigrant retention. The provinces who are tops in retaining immigrants are Ontario, with a 93.7% five-year retention rate, British Columbia at 89.7%, and Alberta at 89%. A month after that Statistics Canada data was released, though, island immigration officials are claiming it paints an inaccurate picture of immigration to Prince Edward Island. When you're looking at that five-year retention rate you are looking at programs that, in some cases, don't even exist anymore, Jeff Young, director at the province's Office of Immigration, reportedly told the CBC. The immigration official notes that Prince Edward Island has made many changes to its immigration programs over the years and the economic programs now in place have a much higher retention rate. We're focusing on helping employers fill labor gaps, labor shortages, our programs are helping employers meet those labor shortages, he reportedly said certainly, there have been changes to immigration programs in Atlantic Canada in the eight years since 2014. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot AIP, a program that attracted more than 10,000 new permanent residents to the four Atlantic Canadian provinces in only a few years, was only introduced in 2017 and was made permanent starting this year. Among other things, the AIP boasts a much higher retention rate, more than 90% of the applicants who immigrated through it were still living in the Atlantic Canadian region a year later. Atlantic Immigration Pilot boosts immigration to Prince Edward Island. Over the past few years, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot has made an incredible difference in communities across our region, said Immigration Minister Sean Fraser. It has brought us the resource we need most, more people, they are skilled, they are young and they are staying, now, we're doubling down on what works by making it permanent, so we can continue attracting the best and brightest to our region and build a vibrant, prosperous future for Atlantic Canada. Prince Edward Island has been steadily increasing the share of immigrants who come to its shores through economic immigration programs which also have a higher retention rate. In 2019, the last full year before the COVID-19 pandemic, 91.2% of new permanent residents to Prince Edward Island arrived under economic programs and that share only grew more pronounced in 2021 with these programs accounting for almost 93% of new permanent residents to the province in the first nine months of the year. By ensuring newcomers to Prince Edward Island come with jobs in hand, Young says the province is gradually seeing its retention rate improve, if you look at our one- and two-year retention rates, I believe they are up about 70% by now, he reportedly said. Provincial nomination adds 600 points to express entry CRS score. Through its provincial nominee program, Prince Edward Island provides many opportunities for foreign nationals to immigrate to the province, under its express entry category of immigration programs, the province considers candidates already in the federal express entry pool for provincial nomination. Such a nomination adds 600 points to a candidate's comprehensive ranking system, CRS score and effectively guarantees an invitation to apply, ITA for Canadian Immigration. Applicants for immigration under Prince Edward Island's express entry system need, though, to meet the requirements of one of the federal economic immigration programs. Federal Skilled Worker Federal Skilled Trades Canadian Experience Class Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC data for the first 11 months of 2021, the most recent data available, show that immigration to Prince Edward Island is on the upswing. 
after rising from 1,190 new permanent residents in 2015 to hit a high of 2,445 newcomers in 2019, the rate of immigration took a beating in the first year of the pandemic, falling by 47.2% to 1,290 in 2020. Since then, though, immigration to Prince Edward Island has rebounded. In the first 11 months of last year, the province welcomed 2,345 new permanent residents, putting it on track to have received 2,558 new permanent residents by the end of last year. Prince Edward Island immigration expected to hit new high. That would be 4.6% more new permanent residents to Prince Edward Island in 2021 than came in 2019. In the year since the period covered by the Statistics Canada report, the province has also beefed up its settlement services. This year, immigrants settling on Prince Edward Island got two new courses to learn French, one of Canada's two official languages, for free. Under a partnership with the French language, New Brunswick-based College Communautaire du Nouveau-Brunswick's CCNB Language Learning Centre, the cooperative DI Integration Francophone of Prince Edward Island, CIF is providing the free language courses for immigrants on the island province. Hopefully the details and information is presented in this video is helpful. Canada Immigration News Channel will be releasing a new video when new information is available on any of these updates or requirements. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in next new immigration video.